Hello and welcome to another Moog demo library. The recently released Minimoog Model D app for Mac OS functions as a standalone application that can be used as an Audio Units version 3 plugin within digital audio workstations supporting AUV3. Logic, Reaper, GarageBand, MainStage, and Ableton Live as of version 11.2 all support AUV3 natively. For all other DAWs that do not support AUV3 natively, we've developed a wrapper that will treat the Minimoog Model D app as if it were an Audio Units version 2 or VST3 style plugin. In this video, I'm going to use Ableton Live version 11.1, .1, which does not support AUV3 and therefore needs these wrappers. The Model D wrapper disk image file can be downloaded at moogmusic.com or using the link in the video description. Note that the Minimoog Model D app requires macOS Big Sur 11.2 or higher to use. I have the disk image file here on my desktop, so let's first unzip that and then open the DMG file. That's going to open a new window that shows us we need to install one file in our components folder and one file in our VST3 folder. For any further information, a README PDF is included for reference. Let's start by opening the components folder selecting the AUV2 component file and dragging it in. Next, we'll do the same for the VST3 wrapper, opening the VST3 folder, selecting the VST3 file and dragging it in. Now let's open Ableton Live. While it's opening, we can eject the disk image by dragging it to the trash and we can delete the DMG file. Now in Ableton, let's go to Plugins, select VST3, Moog, and here's the Model D. We can drag it into a MIDI track to create a Model D track in our Ableton session. I'm going to choose the Santa Mira preset from the recently released Veluto Giallo preset pack. We can now play the Model D with our computer keyboard, with a connected MIDI controller, or just by drawing notes in the piano roll. I'm going to make a little sequence here. And press play. With the AUV2 and VST3 wrappers, the Minimoog Model D app can be used just like any other plugin in Ableton Live, or in any other DAW of your choice.